Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because today is part four of making forge doors. Before we jump into it, let's thank today's sponsor. That is Skillshare online video learning community with 25,000 online courses where you can learn a whole host of stuff. You're going to get two months of Skillshare Premium for free when you hit my link in the description. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this. Now, let's talk about the next steps with this. As you will have seen at the end of the last episode, we had a whole bunch of clamps hanging off it as counterweights because our motors are nowhere near powerful enough to lift the forge doors on their own, even with a snatch block. We are fortunate enough to have been given some lead. And so that is going to be what I was we make led the to believe led to believe this would be a good counterweight. And so you're going to be able to get cracking now on the counterweights themselves. It's basically going to be a pipe in a pipe with the thing on it. Pipe in a pipe with the thing on it, that's exactly right. And then we're going to pour the lead into it. That's the plan. Trying not to get poisoned. While he works on that, I've come up with a design for our pedals. And I'm going to get cracking, building them. I have these nice heavy duty momentary switches. And so essentially what it is that I'm going to need is a hole of this diameter to stick it up through, and then a plate that can be stepped on to actuate the pedal. Easy peasy. Alrighty, I have the bottom half of our little foot pedal assemblies tacked together. A few more welds to make. I was working along here, laying down a semi-decent bead, if I may say so myself, and uh, then it stopped working. I'm a little embarrassed to say that I weld so little that I'm not sure if I've ever actually ran out of MIG welding wire. Today was the day I officially ran out. So heavy. So courtesy of our friends at Lincoln Electric who provided all this equipment for us, we've got more wire. Ta -da! We're back in business. These boxes are going to need the lid to be able to bolt on, and so I'm welding in some little tabs that will drill and tap for the top plate. So I'm getting ready to drill some holes here. Once those holes are drilled, we're going to mark through onto these plates, drill and tap that, and then grind everything. While well, I've been working on this, Here's what Will's been up to. So I've got my pieces cut, both pieces of pipe, the big pipe, the, out, the outside pipe, and the internal pipe. This is gonna sit over like that, and it'll get welded all the way around. So this void in here is what's gonna get filled up with lead. Right now, I've just got a hole drilled in the bottom of this end cap for the cable to go through, and then I've just done a quick little tack weld on this to get the pipe in the right spot. I think it's in the right spot, so I'm gonna go ahead and MIG weld all of this together before we do a little bit of lead casting. Ah, phenomenal. Super good for your lungs. Yes. Probably. Death in a casting experience. Definitely. Yep. Guess where you might end up? Dead. In a cast kit. <laughs> all right, time to go into the grinding room and grind down all these welds to help make it look pretty. Time to pump these full of lead. in here. American lead. We got our 
boxes ground up, it's time to drill a hole in them that's going to accept our switches. Getting to the half inch mark on a stepped drill bit is how I'm going to get there. You quit playing with that, you are really pushing my buttons right now. Because the buttons are in the boxes! <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wire in, see if this is an appropriate weight. We weighed it, it's right at about nine pounds or so. So, might be a little bit on the light side. Okay, Will has the counterweight on, and oh my goodness, that looks incredible. Look at the speed of this thing! Isn't that perfect? That's awesome. This is a forged door. It works. That could not be better. Great job on those counterweights. Thank you. That's so good. These are the little pieces that our pedals are gonna pivot on. Gonna do some grinding. I dropped one. Now we're gonna do some grinding. Foot switches work, we're now gonna work on wiring these switches. So this is where it gets extremely tricky because the switches that are in these look entirely different and are a whole lot bigger than the switches that we used on our little breadboard. Ty is a part of the team here and he is helping us out wiring this up and we're gonna try seeing if we can get these switches to work in this circuit. Okay, we're really struggling over here. We're just not getting that button to work like these buttons work. We're not quite sure how to wire it. So instead of doing it all down here and making a mess, we're going to wire up an Arduino with some simple code to just make an LED turn on when the button is pressed and then work out how to wire the button to make that simple piece of code work because that's the same type of code that we have to make this work. So, fingers crossed this helps. After about an hour of fussing around, we finally have it, but it's slightly backwards. When we release, the motor works and turns. When we press it, it doesn't work, but that's super simple. All we gotta do is just adjust some code, but we finally have it actually working, which is exciting. And I will note that I also had a uh, piece of cable in the wrong pinhole, so that was part of the problem too, but we got it wired, we got it working. Next step, now that we know that we can wire these buttons to do what we want, provided we adjust the code, is we need to get all of this stuff wired. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am thrilled to announce that the Forge Doors started last year are now complete. I don't know how we got there, but check this out. That 
is a pair of the most beautiful forge doors I have ever seen. Controlled by an Arduino. Controlled by custom made foot pedals. These things are just glorious. We've got ourselves some beautiful counterweights. Here are the motors that power them. These things are just phenomenal. I'm ecstatic, I cannot believe it. We got to the point where we needed to paint and I was shocked. This, this always seems to be how it goes in these projects. You know, it's so, you never know where that finish line is. It feels so far off. It feels so far in the distance and impossible to ever finish it. That's how I felt about this. I had no idea that we'd ever actually have forge doors completed, but here we are. All of a sudden, they're finished. There's still some things that we want to do to the wiring to adjust it. We still need to go ahead and adjust that code to get both the doors to work at the same time. I haven't got around to it, but we're thrilled because it's done. How excited are you, Will? So excited. We Isn't can finally the... forge things again. I know. We need to forge things. Oh my gosh. You know what we should forge, Alec? What's that? I don't know. There's so many things you can forge. You can forge almost anything. Yeah. Maybe people should let us know what they want us to forge. Uh -huh. Thank you guys so much for coming along with this journey, following along with this, we cannot wait to get started on some forging heavy project. As we end the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which has been Skillshare. Skillshare is an online video learning community with over 25,000 online courses in everything imaginable, from business to marketing to photography, and even to learning about the hugely important piece of electronic equipment that we've been using, which is the Arduino. And you can learn about how to get started with Arduinos and learn about how capable they are by going to the online course called Introduction to Arduino Creating Interactive Projects and you can watch along and learn. I was really excited to be able to use Skillshare to help learn how to make this project work. Be sure to start 2020 off right by learning a new skill from all the courses Skillshare has to offer. And I really hope that you guys go and get learning with Skillshare by hitting my link in the description below because you're gonna be getting two months of Skillshare Premium which gives you access to all 25,000 of those courses for free. Skillshare Premium is usually just 10 bucks a month. You can enjoy it for free for two months. Check them out. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring the video. Thank you guys for coming along on this incredible journey. Cannot wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.